Welcome to a video from the digitallife.com. In this video, I just want to quickly show off the Steam VR integration into Windows Mixed Reality, which is new in Redstone 5, which is due to be released probably end of September, October time. Uh, this is a Windows Insider build that I'm testing this on. And the integration is, as you can see here, I've got my apps, my Steam VR apps, in the, in the um, Windows Mixed Reality Skyloft. Uh, that is a normal Windows Store app, and so is that. But over here, I've got normal Windows Store apps, uh, and here, I've got Steam VR apps. So, like I said, you need to have the Windows Insider preview build installed, and you need to have the uh, beta version of Steam VR, which I'll show you in a sec. But here, as you can see, these are the apps. So, how do I get those apps on there? Very straightforward, I just go through to my all apps list and there you can see it. So there you can see Google Earth VR is from Steam. Select it like that and I can pin it up there. Other apps on this list, you might see, let's say, that one, um, the Galaxy Explorer, I would just pin that. That's from the Windows Store, that's from Steam. And you'll notice some other ones from Steam as well. Right, there you go, that's from Steam, that's from the Store. So I've got this all apps list now that has the combination of both of them. So if I want to app launch one of these apps, I just click on the tile and away I go. So that's Steam VR installed and then if I press the Windows key instead of it going straight back to the desktop or back to the, the Windows Mixed Reality Cliff House and I get the option of bringing up the menu, changing the volume, switching to the Steam VR dashboard, taking a photo, even opening flashlight which is the camera camera that's using from the mixed reality headset. So here I am in Google Earth and I want to go back home and hit that and I go to the Steam dashboard and hit that. Simple as that. Let's go back home. Let me just show you on the Windows desktop how to enable that. So first of all, you, like I said, you've got to have a Windows Insider build running and then on Steam, there's a Windows Mixed Reality. Lots of properties. And there, I've got the public beta enabled. You need that enabled and you need the Windows Insider Redstone 5 builds or later to be able to, to get that integration to work. As you can see here, I'm on build 17735. So that's it. Nice and simple. You've got the integration built in there. It's much better than it was before. Plus, with these builds, you've also got the flashlight or torch that I talked about. Some other things like this, these Explore apps which pop up. Uh, and it's great new features in Windows Mixed Reality. So thanks for watching this video. More on our YouTube channel at ISDixon on Twitter.